So I'd now like to like to start part two of the presentation. We're going to do a collective reading. We're going to start. Um, we're going to read Prometheus Rebound, um, which is written as a play. And we're going to let me read Alicia Stallings, Eliza Jackson, Orpheus Perez, and Paolo Colombo, and myself. So it's orchestrated a bit like a cool read, but not entirely. Prometheus stands judgment again before the Pantheon jury. He's been accused of stealing once again. This time, vanity and deceit from the gods, giving it to, giving, giving it to the muggles, mankind, without expanded consciousness. This has corrupted the foundations of mortal man, daily existence, democracy, and the spiritual realm. The setting post Greek elections in the Athenian capital, the political paradigm shifts from old guard to new. Act one. Enter Zeus, Prometheus, and Pantheon jury. If you believed your sight greater than mine, Titan, whose plotting thought proved foolish, spinning reason in circles like a dervish, while grains of my patience drop in time. What has your penance, pain, taught you? I sent heaven's winged hound, the hawk, to gnaw your liver when bound to a rock. Though this treason seeks jury times two, yet you bequeathed vanity's mirror, more fair than my divine blood ensue, like Helen, as if her beauty differ from her father, monarch of all, Zeus, or Venus, a rose light in the temperate sky, how you challenge your fate again, defy. With narcissism is democracy wrought. You fed the bald muggle, the hubris seed, filling his head with noise, less coherent thought, ego which fueled vanity like feral deceit. True. I steer the green horn, premier who palm the wheel that wield power, when cauldron burn bridges with hot air, and more the minutia in the last giddy hour. Without consciousness, it's a blame game. Politics void of a plan to rebuild destiny's new suit, yet allowed a t-shirt to maim respect for one, for all. Democracy's loot, blasphemy against the gods, while I pulled from my head ideas child. Act three, the echoes in Mother Earth enter. Still the parliament parrots, all the while like echoes, the weight of the wind wills as memorandum or laws that bill taxes or debt to deleverage denial. While man lords face, stupidity high, still asking for mother's comfort in loan, oblivious to their actions they moan. Yours, his, the final judgment is nigh. She dare not speak more, lest the sky here, the curse once breathed on thee, is twice near. Repent, Titan, give thanks and say a prayer. Forget your arrogance, if you dare. Unveil the beast of delusion that hide, use Athena's shield, conscious yet wise. Act 4, Zeus and Prometheus. You shall reap your sentence. As accused Prometheus, who gave man fire by theft, who left the Oceanide Asia bereft, child of Gaia who challenged Zeus, while Aeschylus' words seemed to heal, prove my clemency of grace from Tartarus's groove. Your love for man is primitive. Crude. But your betrayal twice 
is flat out rude. <laughs> Ignorance. Indeed a fool's folly. It is what inexperience affords times to and the pursuit of chaos from paradise. Justice, per accusation, will never soothe, but rankle in history, undisguised, while Jove's ego prickles, still broods. Cause, Cause and effect, effect, these are your dues. <laughs> Thank you so much again um, for coming out on a, a Monday evening and um, experiencing this with us. Um, you are probably wondering where you can get this lovely book, and I think we may have some for sale. Um, I, I believe they're going for 20 euros. Um, so uh, it's a handsome book, and I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you so much for coming. next door, the room next door, and I'm welcome to bring them out and go <laughs> 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 You're all very welcome to come and join us and perhaps talk to the poets and readers. <laughs> Thank you.